Hey guys, it's MJ. It is truly got Tootsie in the background. I just wanted to hop on here real quick today. Thank you all for your prayers. Um, my voice is not very, um, very good right now because of the tube they put down my throat uh, for surgery. I, I so appreciate y'all's prayers. Um, the doctor said that he broke up uh, a lot of scar tissue and there was a lot of it. This is my fourth rotator cuff surgery in 18 months, which is a rebellious body as well as I had that rebellious soul. Who can say amen with that body? Who is looking for our glorified body in the rapture of the church? Definitely Maranatha, guys. But thank you all so much for thinking of me and keeping me in your prayers today and your comments. I so, so have been sitting here reading the comments and I am so blessed by the fellowship. And um, Jesus said, where two or more are gathered in his name, he is here amongst us. And guys, he is certainly, certainly coming soon and very soon. We know that trumpet is going to sound so, so very soon. The dead in Christ are going to rise first. And we, this final generation, I believe with all of my heart, who are alive and remain, will be caught up together with them in those clouds and ever so be with our Lord. And the Bible tells us to comfort one another with these words. Encourage one another as we see that day approaching. And guys, it is it couldn't be any more clear that that day is approaching us. It is here. We are in that final lap, guys. In that final lap. But today is also the anniversary of the Hamas terrorists. It is a year um, since the deadliest attack in Israel, you know, since the Holocaust. And um, our hearts, our thoughts, and our prayers go out for everyone in Israel, in the United States, anyone who has lost anyone. Um, what a horrific, horrific day. And be praying for the peace of Israel. The Bible commands us to pray for the peace of Israel. Jerusalem will be a cup of trembling, the Bible says. And guys, there is no turning back. There is no turning back right now for Israel. This is prophesied in scripture. And please understand that. Understand that we are in, in the last days. We are in that time where Jesus spoke of and what's happening right now has been prophesied in scripture. People need to wake up. And I, I would love to go on and on here. Um, but my throat is, is really, you know, y'all know I love to talk. But my throat is really bothering me. I just wanted to hop on here and share that. And also be praying for all of the victims of um, Hurricane Helene. Like I said on the other day's video, there is more to the story than we are being shown in the media. Well, we know the media lies anyway. Um, tell lie vision, tell lie vision. We can just stop it at that. But um, I have a lot of friends. I moved here from Asheville, North Carolina in the panhandle. Uh, I am currently in the panhandle out of the path of Milton by the grace of God and be praying for those who are in the path of this I mean, what an incredible acceleration. This acceleration of Milton is not ever never been seen before. Um, this this quick acceleration. Things that make you go, Jesus is coming back any second. Okay, and what happened in Western North Carolina, less than one percent. I moved here 13, 14 years ago from Asheville, North Carolina. Less than 1% of the residents there with homeowners insurance had flood insurance. You know why? Because there weren't a lot of floods there. And ironic that this is happening so close to the elections. All of this is happening so very close to the elections. But if you haven't seen my video the other day that I did, um, you know, speaking more about it, um, just look back. It's just a couple videos back. It says hashtag Asheville. But please know that I love you guys. We're praying for you and yours and especially your prodigal. 
Um, prodigals have hard heads, guys. We have to hit a few walls sometimes before we come back and see Jesus Christ standing there. Our Father standing there with his arms stretched open wide for us. He loves, me. he loves us more than we can ask, think, or ever, ever imagine. And he, Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, you may be also. And guys, we are about to see that place. We are about to see that place. I don't know who's waiting for the sound of the trumpet, but I am no longer looking for signs. I'm waiting to hear the sound of that trumpet because we're gone. We're just as good as out of here. Be praying for everyone that is in the path of this Milton, this Hurricane Milton in Florida. And um, there's lots of prayer warriors out there. We have to pray, guys. We have to pray. Um, Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back soon and very soon. Plant seeds. Share the gospel. God will water those seeds. And during the tribulation, which is up and coming, it is no doubt that the tribulation is soon rapidly approaching. And the tribulation is the time of Jacob's trouble. It is not the time of the church's trouble. Um, we are not appointed to wrath. So we are going to be lifted, gathered unto Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. We're going to a wedding. So be praying for everyone in the path of this Milton, Hurricane Milton, and everyone else, uh, all the victims of Helene. Everything that's going on right now, guys, it is not natural. None of this is natural. Anyway, I got to get off of here. Um, my throat is, but God is not taking, God knows what's going on. God is not up there on his throne saying, what am I going to do now? What's going Know that God works all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. Understand that. And in the tribulation, there is going to be a harvest that is so very vast. So many souls get saved during the tribulation. But why wait for the tribulation when you can get born again, saved right now? Jesus said that we must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. Not religious. This has nothing to do with religion or going to church. We are the church. Church is not a brick and mortar building that you go to on Sunday or go to to get your sins forgiven. Jesus Christ forgives our sins. Everyone is born into this sin, into this world, a sinner, a in the condition the virtual condition of sin. We're conceived in the condition of sin. And the wages of that sin is death. People like to say, I was born this way. Yeah, we were all born this way. Thank you very much. We sin because we're sinners. We're not sinners because we sin. And because we were born into this condition called sin, the wages of that sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. In Christ Jesus our Lord. For God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would simply believe would not perish but have everlasting life. But there's going to be a lot of people perishing because they believe the liars lie and there is a devil. My friend, there is a devil. Satan is a liar. He came to steal, kill, and destroy. And there, make no mistake, that devil is God's devil. God created him for his own purposes and all things will work together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. How do you get born again? You simply admit, acknowledge, yes, I am a sinner in need of the Savior. And there is only one name under heaven that any of us can be saved. And that is Jesus Christ. B is to believe, and this is key, believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. And that God raised him from the dead for your own personal sins. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. There is no other way to the Father except through the Son. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through him. And see, call upon his name. The Bible says that all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Not might be saved if you continue in this way or you keep your promises or you join a church. The Bible says that he who began a good work in you 
shall perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. He who began this good work. We can't keep those promises. We're flesh. He's spirit. Let the Holy Spirit come in, seal you today. I love you guys. Until next time, keep looking up. We are so, so very close to the rapture of the church. God bless you guys.